Good morning. I am Tammy Gingros, and I am extremely pleased to share what I have to offer with you today. You hear this beautiful song in the background, and this is one of many things that will be shared with you. Positive, uplifting, daily devotional practices, tips for living optimally, naturally. Tomorrow, March 2nd, 2018, we launch our first annual Seeds of Intention, Spirit of Love, Spring Equinox Retreat. This is a free online event birthed to bring love, joy, and healing into your life and into the world. There's so much wisdom behind the seed. I'm going to pause this music now. So here I sit in my sacred space, and I just want to share a few things that will help you to be prepared to join us in this incredible retreat. It is a global retreat. We are so incredibly blessed to have contributors from around the globe. I am here in Pennsylvania. We have Christine Simmons, who is currently traveling in Asia and will be sharing with us from Asia. We have Alma Rosa Burke Mosquero, who is in Mexico, and she will be sharing with us from Mexico. We have the amazing Marie de Boiry, who is a Canadian, who will be traveling to Egypt during our time. And I don't want to forget anybody, but we have a lot more, and every one of them has so much to offer you, merely about how we have and still are transforming ourselves. Seeds of intention, spirit of love. I see this being a wonderful thing for teenagers as well. If you know teenagers, please share this with them, especially our events coming up around the equinox. So I want to show you a couple of things here that I am working with and that hopefully you might wish to work with as well. So we're just going to change my camera around to show you what I have in my sacred space. So you can see I often burn a candle. It represents to me my heart flame and that I am the light of the world. I am the light of love. Oh, just some of my favorite things. I've got one of my seeds of intention there, love. That's the biggest one surrounding this event. We've got an incredible book by Nikki Scully, Sekhmet, Transformation in the Belly of the Goddess. And it is by going through the journeys in this book with a circle of trusted people that I have been able to transform what I've been able to transform. The pine cone is gifted by Sekhmet during the work. A crystal pine cone is placed in our brain, our pineal gland for one of the meditations and I took this to heart and it is going to be the logo for our new healing co-op and healing community. And this is just another beautiful book that I'm yet to read but it's a big thing for me to help people to get unmedicated. Some of us need to do that in many different ways. And then as is the intention of this work, the seeds of intention, spirit of love, we're gonna ask you to write little seeds that you can plant. These are some of my seeds that, that I've planted over the last several months and people that I've invited to the work. And, and because I carry these around with me and I see being involved with these people, they have become involved. I have a nice cozy space set up for my meditation. I often have uplifting, positive music playing in the background. And then here's what I would like to share with you today. Please, Pick up a journal, 
just for this work, if you can. And we're going to have a, a sub-theme of what's your story? The journal is very important. So I wanted to ask that you will get that today so that we can begin tomorrow. This little gem was gifted to us. I found this just before Valentine's Day. What I love about, and here's what's going to happen. I have four daughters. So when I saw it, I thought, oh, I wanna get four of these and make these for my daughters. But how this is going to be used became very clear. What I love about me by me. Personally, I struggled with loving myself. I didn't even know that I was supposed to. So each day with your email, I'm going to share the little piece in the book. On the first day, it says, I love your, I think I'm going to write enthusiasm. Here's what we're gonna do. I didn't think about how I was gonna write and hold the camera. So this is also life unscripted. We are those of us who are coming together who are not the top notch, top paid, professionals in the healing arts, although we ought to be. And with your help and appreciation for what we share with you, we will receive abundance that will flow to us and through us as a result of this offering and what grows from it. Because we are planting seeds. We are planting seeds in the fertile earth. So before we part for today, this was just to give you insight into what you will receive if you go ahead and register to join us. And I'm just going to read a really brief entry in my own journal and um, to help illustrate the full meaning and full potential of Seeds of Intention, Spirit of Love. It begins with the heart breath which will be shared with you on day one of the retreat and practiced throughout. It is a tremendous gift and um, we will be taking this work, we hope, into schools, into wounded warriors, maybe into prisons, into anger management groups to really help people transform the fear and anger and rage that is so prevalent in our world today. Love is truly the answer. And love is all we need. So here's my little journal entry. I sensed Seshet leading me to a garden. Seshet is one of the most ancient deities of Egypt, and she is the inspiration for Tehote, who is an author of this, this work. Seshet. I sensed Seshet leading me to a garden. I kept hearing and sensing. I am a sower of seeds, seeds of love, seeds of transformation, seeds of encouragement. Some will take much longer to gestate than others. I was guided to practice Hopoono, the Hawaiian blessing and meditation, which will also be shared with you on the first day. But it's essentially, I love you, please forgive me. And learning to let go of all things, the Hopoono is a great way to transform emotions. And we're going to give you many, many tools um, we have Alison Tugerman on healthy food and eating and fermenting. Um, we have Lisa Klingensmith on some movement and self-massage and sprouting. And we have beautiful um, events coming up surrounding the equinox where we will literally get together and 
we're going to be writing little seeds of intention. At the equinox, we'll get together with real seeds that I ask you to gather as well. And we'll be planting those seeds for you to take home, nurture them until they sprout, and they'll be ready to plant it in your garden along with your seeds of intention. And there is real power in this work. It is birthed out of love. So please register for our retreat, which launches tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern with a live call. You'll get a link in your inbox and that live call will be an opportunity to meet many of the presenters who are able to be with us tomorrow. And you may get an opportunity to ask some questions or share some inspiration with us. And we look so forward to getting to know you. We are community, global community, and you fit in. That's what this is about. Finding ways to nurture and support one another. Seeds of love, spirit of intention. And even when I get it backwards like I just did, it works just the same. Seeds of intention, spirit of love. I look forward to growing in the garden with you and sowing in the garden with you and reaping an abundant harvest. Namaste.